again. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a good day. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. With his height, that's exactly where you want to put it for. But even that throw was a little tall to connect for the touchdown. facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Wilson. And he fires one, but incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. All in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced with the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well. So your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. No gain on the play there. Second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. situation turn it over for the offense but I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me we see that as a passing play we don't do that anymore we want the ball in our hands and we want to hit the other one probably also instinct a lot of times if you see a lot of green grass ahead of you go ahead and grab it it's the exact right play to do that's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught Offense set to begin their next drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. Into a double team and it's intercepted. 
picked up by D.J. Reed. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Wilson. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. The 20. And he takes this one back into the I thought you were going to throw it. I was trying to throw it low. To see you playing him under. I was trying to throw it under. Well, I mean, it hadn't been a picture perfect first half for this defense to this point, but that, that's a. Big I was trying to throw it under. That's why I was like, okay, throw it down. He, he wide open. We throw it down. Hey, we're still in this. And even though our offense hasn't done anything, we've had our troubles on our own right. We still made a play right there that could change the course of this game. Great job delivering. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now Hall to start the drive. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. After the incompletion for second down. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. This pass complete. He finds Jeremy Rucker. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit the receivers on the go, get them the ball, keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they could do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? Open man is Uzama. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. is the punter man as he boots this one away. Now a hit and a loose football. Shit. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. 
Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 41, Hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Bro, partner, I'm not sure how this drive is going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he stops immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me up. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Devontae Smith, 33 yards. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 14-10. to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together. Possibly. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by James Bradbury. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. On first and ten, it hurts. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Quinnen Williams able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to get in the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to catch him in this point. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a backbreak on first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL, but just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag right across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was Damn, man, I think that bullshit all, man. The defenders were there, couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high stick situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice game downfield. Hurts. And they're going to get it. 
They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Now a timeout coming here defensively. As on fourth down, may as well make him punt it. You mean kick the field goal? So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This a 33-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And tackled down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Sanders and this is not going to be enough was in search of two yards and only got halfway there I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game you're now doing the dictating on defense and guess what now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That's bullshit, bullshit, man. That's bullshit. Oh, I was spinning right up. Man. A gutsy call. Fourth and short. They go for it. Look at the result. Yeah, now they did. They go for it. They threw for it because to me it was stacked up for a run situation. Strength on Man, strength I was standing right there, bro. I knew exactly what he was doing. I seen it wide on my damn self. So, so oh, he looking for that. Oh, you see that space right there. He's going to try to throw it right there. I knew exactly where he was going with the ball. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out. I knew exactly where he was going with the ball. I saw that shit. I said, he, he trying to throw it right there. Oh, he been doing it blitzing all game. That's why that nigga suck. I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. On second down, a run with Hall. 
four yards to pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do, exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. From the 41, Wilson. So that's caught by his tight end, Uzama. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And have that what he did after the catch. Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On first and ten, it's Wilson. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at those back-to-back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Straight ahead is Hall. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. On first down, Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He'll get it inside the 20, and he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now it's Wilson. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Second down, back to Sanders. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop them short of the first down. The Eagles send out their punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. A long time since somebody put on fourth and one. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and ten. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by James Bradbury. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. Has probably been there for a long time. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Dallas Goddard with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Oh, no. My bad, Coach. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Wilson. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Second and 11 now. Now it's Wilson. And Davis has it over the middle. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Auntie. I wasn't trying to call you. I would call somebody else. I'm sorry. Wilson. Yeah, that would that would have was. I'm sorry. And he gets this only I had dodged your number by accident. I was trying to call somebody. Your, somebody number was right right below your name. And I'll call. I'll, As he'll head to the sideline and talk over uh, what to do next. I know. That's what I'm saying. I didn't mean to call you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, man. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. No, no, I ain't on it. I, I ain't mean to call it. That's what I was saying. But let me hit this phone call. Uh, I'll get back with you. Alright. Hello? Yeah. yeah. You got what he's doing. Wilson. I heard her in the background talking shit, yo. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. One thing I think that safety is yeah, defensive. I talked to him. Really and because of that, yeah, he's going to be very hard. Yeah, the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. Yeah, he has the ball for real. That means you have to run extra plays. I'm dead serious. He has the ball. Yeah, all right. He said he's number one. He said he's number one game. Like he said he's he number one game. After the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and lead the game out that way. 
And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second.